Good everyone, you're watching Radio Fixes. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to fix Microsoft Photos App Error, Package Failed Updates, Dependency, or Conflict Validation. Now, there are a couple of steps which you could try to get this issue resolved. Now, the first step to resolve this issue is to go ahead and reset the photo app on your computer. To do this, you will have to click on the search and type photo app. This will give you the best match for the photos. You will have to do a right click and then click on app settings. Once you're on the app settings, you will have to scroll down a bit and then locate for terminate. You may click on terminate. So basically what you're doing here is you're going to end all these services or processes which are currently running for photos app. As you click on terminate, then you may go ahead and click on repair. So this will go ahead and repair the photos app on your computer. Wait until the repair is complete. It will take about a minute or two. Once the repair is complete, you may go ahead and click on reset. And when prompted, you may click on reset again. So this will go ahead and repair and reset your photos app on your computer. Wait until the reset is complete. Once the reset is complete, you may close this window and then try to open the photos app on your computer and check if your issue has been resolved. In case if your issue has been resolved, well and good. You don't need to try the next step. Now the next step is to go ahead and clear the Windows Store cache on your computer. To do this, you will have to open the Run window. You can do a right click on the Start button and then click on Run. In the run window, you may go ahead and type wsreset.exe and then click on OK. So this will go ahead and reset Microsoft Store Cache on your computer. You will see a command prompt open for a brief period and post that you will see Microsoft Store opening on your computer. Wait until the Microsoft Store has been completely launched. So this will go ahead and clear the corrupted cache affecting the app updates. Once this is done, you may go ahead and minimize this window and then try to open Photos app on your computer and check if your issue has been resolved. In case if your issue has been resolved, well and good. You don't need to try the next step. Now the next step to resolve this issue is to go ahead and re-register Microsoft Photos app on your computer. To do this, you will have to open PowerShell on your computer. To open PowerShell, you will have to click on the search. In the search window, you will have to go ahead and type PowerShell. And you will have to locate for Windows PowerShell. You will have to do a right click on the Windows PowerShell and then click on Run as Administrator. In case if you get a user access control prompt, you may click on Yes or Continue on the screen. To re-register Microsoft Photos app, you will have to execute a command which I will mention in the video description. You will have to copy that command, do a right click and paste. The moment you do a right click, the command what you have copied would automatically paste it in the command prompt window. As soon as you have this command, you will have to hit enter to execute this command. Wait until this command has been successfully executed. Once this command has been successfully executed, you may close this window and then try to reopen the photos app and check if your issue has been resolved. In case if your issue has been resolved, well and good, you don't need to try the next step. Now the next step to resolve this issue is to go ahead and install the latest version of Visual C++ redistributable package. To do this, you will have to go to the Microsoft website and I will mention this website in the video description. You can click on the link or you can copy the link from the video description. This will take you to the official Microsoft website for Microsoft Visual C++ redistributable version. As you scroll down, you would see the latest version of Visual C++. So you click on the latest supported redistributable version. In case if you see 2014 or other version, always go ahead with the latest supported one. So click on this. It will take you to the latest supported redistributable version links. Now depending on the computer if it is a 64-bit if you have a Windows 64-bit or a 32-bit you will have to go ahead and choose the appropriate version so here since I'm using a 64-bit machine I would go ahead and click on 64-bit this will go ahead and download the executable file for Visual C++ 
double click on the setup and when you prompted for the end users license agreement click on agree and then click on install follow the step by step instructions on the screen and wait until the visual c++ has been successfully installed on the computer once the visual c++ has been successfully installed on your computer you can go ahead and restart your computer and then you can try to launch the photos app and check if your issue has been resolved in case if your issue has been resolved well and good you don't need to try the next step now the next step to resolve this issue is to go ahead and run system file checker and dism to repair the corrupted system files on your computer to do this, you will have to open the command prompt. So you can go to the search window and in the search window, you may go ahead and type command. You will see the best match for the command prompt. Do a right click and then click on run as administrator. In case if you get a user access control prompt, you may click on yes or continue on the screen. Once you're on the command prompt window, you can go ahead and type the command or copy or paste the command from the video description. The command is sfc space forward slash scan now. Hit enter to execute the command and wait for the command to successfully execute. It will have to complete the 100% verification. Once it is at 100% verification, the next command what you will have to go ahead and execute is a DISM command to restore health. You can copy and paste the command from the video description. Do a right click after copying it. It should automatically paste it. Hit enter to execute this command wait until this command is being successfully executed once this is done you may close this window restart your computer and then check if your issue has been resolved in case if your issue has been resolved well and good you don't need to try the next step now in spite of trying all this step if you're still facing a problem the next step what you could do is you can try to install the windows update on your computer to do this you will have to do a right click on the start button and then click on settings once you're on these settings you may go ahead and click on windows update on the windows update you would see an option for check for the updates click on check for the updates to see if there are any updates to be installed go ahead and install those updates close this window restart your computer and then check if your issue has been resolved so all this step should definitely fix a problem in spite of trying all this step if you're still facing a problem I would suggest you to leave me a comment in the comment section so that I can come up with the possible solution. I hope this video was useful. In case if you like this video, please make sure to hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Have a great day.